I'm going to discuss about PostGre installation methods. Here we have three types of installations we have. Source code installation, third party EDB source method, RPM means a resource package manager installation. These we have three types of installation. Today I'll be showing third party EDB easy method. This method is easy method, but any method we can see. In this video, I am going to show you third party EDB installation on Red Hat Linux. Here we need to download the software. If you go, go if you go into the Google give post grease download you can see that what are the things you can grab here post sql database click on this here you can see the version releases in this video i will be showing 9.6 coming videos i'll show 10 point also there is a huge difference between 9.6 to 10.13 okay here if you click on this you can able to download here i already downloaded even now you can see the file name yeah this is the file name rpm here if you go and see which version which linux you want to go with is it 32 bit or 64 uh, bit which flavor you want okay uh, I want I have Red Hat 64 bit download this one suppose I have Mac you can download whatever you want 32 bit you can download here Windows 64 bit 32 bit okay I already downloaded I'll show you. here I already uploaded to this here the file name you can see here now you want to get the permissions for this ch giving full permissions fine execute the file name slash post -gree. it will take some time yes see the software location wherever you want to go with if you want to type see for example software opt you can type it software binaries i can say post degree slash this is the location software fine this is the data di directory where it will be restoring opt software post -gree data okay let it be same location password for the super user post grease is a super user okay you can give the password for that i'm giving any password whatever you want to give then port number it is which port number by default port number is 5432 let it be which language so many languages are there first is the default language can i continue yes yeah it's taking it will take some time to install almost it is completed okay done it is done then you can verify whether it is installing or you can see like this post agree
see this now you, what happened is you can see that only the software is it, it is showing but you need to switch to postgres by default it has been created a os postgresql user and postgresql username database having one username os having one user switch to that switch postgres i'm switching okay it has been switched you can confirm it see here you can see uh, the background process what are the background process are running you can see here the data this is the main service is uh, this is the binaries this is the data and background process we can able to see okay in next video i'll show you how to connect to the postgres and how we can able to see the database layouts okay subscribe to dbs center you will get notifications